This is the Boss War Chief, their brand new buffered load. Could this little guy change the game? Today we're gonna put it to the test and find out. George here with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel, and an outstanding podcast helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Today we have a video that I am super excited to make. We've got the brand new, state-of-the-art, just released Boss Warchief. This is their buffered, copper-plated bismuth load. I was watching the Boss State of the Union Facebook Live address that they did in the middle of winter, and they announced this load and I knew him instantaneously. I was like, I gotta get this. We gotta test this. This could be awesome. This is a buffered load. Now what does that mean? Well essentially they have a eco-friendly buffering materials. Best as I can tell it's like a finely ground powdered, I don't know, some walnut shells or something. I think I overheard somebody say, don't quote me on that. But basically they mix that in with the shot. So this stuff serves to buffer the shot, to cushion it when it explodes and starts shooting out the barrel. And essentially Boss is claiming that this will deliver tighter patterns and more penetration. Now you might say, George, how could buffer material deliver more penetration? That is a great question and I am not entirely sure. Essentially what they're claiming though is that the buffer material prevents pellet deformation in the barrel specifically on ignition the pellets I guess in the rear of the load may squish some losing some of their ballistic energy to deformity and then as they fly they won't be perfect spheres and thus they will lose a little bit more velocity and hence less ballistic energy at the end of the day so they're saying that this buffering material can increase penetration by 8% now is 8% a lot? It's not a lot, but it's not insignificant either. Is it true? I have no idea, but we are going to put it to the test today, and I am very excited to do so. Now, you guys started asking for this video instantaneously after Boss did their announcement that the ammo was going to be created. It didn't even exist yet. It took a while for them to actually make it, release it. Then it took even longer for me to get it, and then I was delayed a little bit more making turkey hunting videos because you got to strike while the iron's hot. However, today I have in my possession this right here. I've got three different boxes of the Boss War Chief. I've got their number fives, number fours, and number three fives. And then I also just so happen to have accumulated some number fives, number fours, and number three fives of the Boss Legacy, the regular load. So what we are gonna do today is put these things head to head in a pattern test and ballistics gel test. We're gonna compare the number five legacy against the number five war chief. We're gonna test the number four legacy against the number four war chief. And we're gonna test the three five legacy against the three five war chief. We're gonna pattern test all of them at 40 yards. And then I'm gonna ballistics gel test the, just the number fours. Why? Because I only have so much ballistics gel and it takes a lot of time and energy and effort to remelt this stuff and cut it up and slice it and dice it and we're gonna test number fours because that's my favorite one and we'll see what kind of results we get there now these shells are all two and three quarter inch shells one and a quarter ounces of shot they're all identical same size same amount of shot same shot size the only difference is we've got three boxes of the three sizes of leg Legacy, the original Boss Copper Plated Bismuth, and we've got three boxes of the new War Chief, all three sizes of the Copper Plated Buffered Bismuth. Why these sizes? Well, these are the only ones I was able to get, and so that's what we're gonna test today. Now, this ammo does what Boss claims it'll do. It could be an absolute game changer for Boss, because if you remember a lot of their competitors, they're using a little bit faster shot, 1,450 feet per second, 
second in order to get a little bit more penetration. However, from the tests that I have done in the past, and I've tested basically every bismuth load on the market, the extra 100 feet per second is getting somewhere between 2 to 8% more ballistics gel penetration. So if Boss is able to get 8% more penetration with this load, they will be out penetrating their competitors while still having less velocity and recoil. And again, these are just the two and three quarter ounce loads. Three inch loads should be released over the summer and you can be sure I will get my hands on those as soon as I can for some testing. But the first question you guys probably have, because I had it myself, was do you get less pellets in the new war chief versus the legacy because now they're adding that buffer material so is that taking up some of the space or some of the weight thus giving you less pellets for the same amount of weight now boss says no they say you are not getting fewer pellets with the war chief versus the legacy and i believe boss however i still decided i was going to cut open one of each and every shell and count every single pellet in them and find out how many pellets are they really putting in this war chief and how many pellets are they really putting in the legacy and so i've counted all those oh man i counted a lot of pellets but i've got the data right here for you guys to take a look at so check this out you looking at the number five 228 pellets is what is advertised. The Legacy has 233. The War Chief had 244. All right, so you are getting more pellets than what is advertised. So they're actually giving you extra shot in the shell, more than what they're saying you're supposed to get. And the War Chief actually had more than the Legacy. You look at the number fours, should be 175 pellets. The Legacy had 182, and the War Chief had 177. Both more than the advertised pellet count. And then you look at the three fives, advertised at 175 pellets, the Legacy had 201, and the War Chief had 189. So both more than the advertised pellet count. And of course, I totaled them at the bottom, all three, and you're looking at 578 pellets advertised. Legacy had 616, the War Chief had 610. So both of them are giving you between five and a half and six and a half percent more pellets than what is advertised. Now, you got to keep in mind here, every shell could be a little bit different, right? So the number fours, the one had more than the other, the number fives, the one had more than the other. If we cut open three or four of each shell and counted them all, they may very well go back and forth a little bit, which is why I just added all of them together to get an average to see what the total looks like. So no, you are not getting fewer pellets out of the War Chief versus the Legacy, at least no significant number, and you're getting more pellets than the advertised pellet count, more than what you're paying for out of both of them, which is more than I can say for a lot of brands making high and waterfowl ammo on the market. Now you reloaders and ammo nerds are gonna like this. When I cut the shells open, I compared the innards of both. And what they're doing with the new War Chief is they're actually using a larger shot cup. It's a little bit taller than the Legacy. And that fits all of your pellets as well as your buffer material, which takes up a little bit more space. Interesting though, the new shot cup actually holds every single one of the pellets where they were spilling over the edge of the shot cup with the legacy loads. So it looks like a higher quality shot cup set up here to make room for all the pellets and the buffer material. All right, enough talk. We're going to get to the testing. We're going to run these through my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel and a Carlson's Bismuth Bone Buster Choke Tube, the extended range one. I did a ton of test videos with this last season. This choke tube has loved every single bismuth load that I've put through it so we're gonna see what it does with the new boss war chief all right let's head down to the range I made it down to the range. I got my eye protection on. I got my Tetras in for ear protection. Set to waterfowl boost, of course. We've got the Mossberg here loaded up with the Carlson's Bismuth Bone Buster extended range. And we're gonna go ahead and lead off right now with the Boss Legacy load on the left. And now we've got that shiny boss war chief. We're gonna shoot on the next target on the right. Number fives, of course.
All right, we'll go swap paper, and then we'll move up to the number fours. I've got fresh paper set up, and now we'll go ahead and hit them again at 40 yards with the Boss Legacy number fours. And now we've got the number four war chief. All right, we're gonna go swap paper one more time and then hit it with the three fives. I have the last set of paper targets set up and now we're gonna hit it with the legacy three fives. And guys, if you have not shot these two and three quarter inch shells, oh my goodness. They shoot so easy, so comfortable. I could literally shoot these all day. They are a joy to shoot. And if you're gonna be doing a lot of hunting or a lot of shooting, wow, are there some advantages over going with these two and three quarter inch shells versus the threes and the heavily loaded threes. All right, let's do it. And now we have the Boss War Chief three fives going on the right side. All right, let's go ahead and see how we did. Next, I've got all these targets laid out here. We're gonna take a look at them. A couple of things, guys, to keep in mind. One, I may have shifted around a little bit in my shots and where they hit and what was centered, which is exactly why I use this ginormous paper so that we capture pretty much every single pellet on the pattern. And then I will draw a 30 inch circle around the densest part of the pattern, count those pellets and get you guys some data. But first, let's go ahead and take a look. We've got the number five legacy. Really good pattern, dead duck. Then we have the number five war chief. Definitely looks denser to me. We've got the number four legacy. Another dead duck. Then we have the number four war chief. Also looks a little denser to me. Then we've got the three five legacy. This one was a little low. And then we've got the 3-5 War Chief. Really tight, but also a little low. All right, so I'm gonna do the math on each one of these. That's the only way to get totally reliable data. And it might take a while to count these pellets, but that's just the love I put into it for you guys. But first, the ballistics gel test. I have the ballistics gel now set up at 40 yards and we'll hit it first with the Legacy. Now I'm gonna go ahead, flip that block of gel around and we'll give it with the War Chief. Now I've got the block of ballistic gel flipped around so we can see which is which. And of course I have the block labeled for War Chief. And we've got the War Chief now on the other side. All right, we're gonna go take a look at this ballistics gel, but guys, first, nobody is sponsoring this video not boss or anybody else i'd really appreciate it if you consider supporting the channel on patreon i use every dollar that comes in for patreon to buy paper targets ammo and everything else we need to make these tests possible please go ahead and give a thumbs up so that this video can reach more people and if you like videos like this test reviews kicking the tires on assumptions go ahead and hit subscribe as well all right let's see what happened in this ballistics gel I have the ballistics gel set up here, guys. It is a little bit hard to see with pellets crisscrossing and everything, which is why I'm gonna count every single pellet, average the data, get you guys the real info. But let's go ahead and take a look, see what we can see. From left to right, we have the Legacy, which I'm seeing at about three and a half inches. And then from right to left, we have the War Chief, which I'm seeing at around maybe a little more. So it's hard to tell some of the War Chief pellets do look like they may be further in, but counting the pellets is the only way to find out. So I'm gonna do the math and I'll get back to you guys momentarily with the data. I just counted 1,000 pellets, so you guys don't have to, and you are welcome. If that doesn't get you to click the thumbs up button, I don't know what will. Now we're gonna look at the data. This is really exciting here, guys. I was actually very impressed by the numbers, and what I'm gonna show you, I've got four charts here, right? Four, so I'm gonna move through them quickly. Stay with me, let's check it out. Number one, the pattern test. You can see that the 
number five legacy, 137 pellets. The war chief, 202. Number fours, 144 pellets versus 146. Now keep in mind, and the ones that we counted, the legacy had a bunch more pellets than the war chief did in the number four size. Are they all more? I don't know, but it could be that that's factoring in here. The three fives, 143 pellets. The war chief had 165 pellets. So we have an increase in pellets of 47%, 3%, and 15%. All right, that is how each one stacked up. So in all three, more pellets on the paper, and I suspect this box of number four legacy may have had more pellets in all of them, just based on the counting that I did. So the War Chief is still probably better in terms of pattern efficiency, it just may have started with a few less pellets, and whatever box you get may be different still. Now let's look at the total number of pellets on target. I added them all up here. The legacy had 422 pellets on target, the War Chief had 513 pellets. So we're seeing an average of 22% more pellets on the target with the War Chief. 22% more. That is huge, guys. Huge. All right, let's move on to the next chart. Pattern efficiency. So we can see here legacy versus War Chief. These are number of pellets on the target versus the number advertised on the box. So we got 60% jumps up to 89%, 81% increases slightly to 83%, and then 82% increases significantly to 94%. And I can tell you there were not too many holes on these pieces of paper that were outside of the 30 inch circle on these loads. So pattern efficiency increases dramatically with the war chief on all of them. I guess it's not dramatic on the number fours, but if you sum them up, it's a dramatic dramatic total increase. And then the big one, the one that I have been a skeptic about, the ballistics gel test. Check this out. The legacy comes in 3.47 inches. The war chief comes in at 3.74 inches. Now I shot another one off camera just because I wanted to confirm my results. I wanted to make sure I had enough pellets in the ballistics gel to get a good count on this. You don't want to just count two or three pellets. You need a lot more than that in the gel. And guys, the war chief absolutely came out ahead. Now, not many of the pellets penetrated significantly deeper, though the war chief pellets did go deeper. Where I saw the biggest difference made is the war chief had fewer shallow pellets. Just overall, you had more pellets deeper in the ballistics gel. Now, guys, what does this mean? Well, Boss has gone and done it. All right, they have completely closed the gap on their competition with penetration. There is absolutely no reason to take the extra recoil and reduce payload of all the competing loads in order to get them up to 1,450 feet per second when Boss will do it with less recoil at 1,350 feet per second. Now, you guys occasionally accuse me of being a little too enthusiastic about Boss shot shells, but guys, they have really done it here. This is impressive, and I think this is a game changer for boss and it's a game changer for waterfowl hunters that want to shoot bismuth loads. Now keep in mind these are the two and three quarter inch shells. I'm really excited to see what the three inch shells will do and I will compare those against all kinds of other stuff once they finally land on the market. So the next thing you should do is support this channel on Patreon by clicking the link down below in the description and check out this video I did right here where I talked about the number one thing you can buy to shoot more ducks and no it's actually not boss ammo. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.